Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video. This time guys, we are going to learn something new. Today we are going to learn about GitHub pages. So yes guys, there are uh, many occasions in our software programming career when we have to actually showcase some of our open source project. Sometimes we want to host a blog, sometimes we want to share our resume. At that point of time, we actually need a public domain to show off our website okay but we all know that if you want to create your own website you have to buy a domain you have to pay certain amount to the website hosting companies you may have to uh, use sites like wordpress or wix to actually host your website but we can cut all that hassle out using github.io so github.io actually allows us to host our own website without paying any any money free of cost and it helps us to showcase our projects are skill set to the world so th so today we are going to learn about that but before i start with the video guys i just want to request you that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos and now let's get started okay so basically guys github pages are public pages they are published through github so the main thing is that we have to actually have github account to use github pages so you can see that i already have a github account and once you open your github account you sign in into it you will get a plus sign right next to the label here and you can click on a new repository okay so now I clicked on a new repository and you can see that it is asking me for a repository name. So basically if you are, if you are creating any, uh, any GitHub repository, you can give any name like, uh, my, uh, okay, my website. Okay. Or let's say my, my blog, right? So my blog can be your repository, but this is not a normal repository guys. This is going to host some public web pages which you want to show to the world through a web domain, okay, so a website. So you have to make sure that the repository name is uh, ending in github.io, okay. So that's why I'm making the repository name as myblog.github.io, okay. So once you have done that, you can give any description here, okay. I, I'm just going to skip the description part. You can add a readme file, you can add a git ignore, you can choose a license, but if you don't want to, then you don't have to. You can just click on create repository and your repository will get created. Okay. Uh, obviously reminding you that if you want to add those readme files or git ignore files or license file, you can add them later. Definitely. Okay. But that's not our concern for today because today we are majorly concerned about creating our GitHub pages. Okay. So now that we have our repository created, now it's the time to start converting this repository into a website. Okay. So what we have to do, we have to go to something called as settings. So now we are in the settings and you can see that in the code and automation section, there is something called as pages. Okay. Now, once I go into pages, it is asking me to choose a theme. Once I click into theme, you can see that all these themes are given to me. The by default theme is uh, Cayman theme, which is the first theme coming. And you can see that as I change the theme, I can see below that theme actually getting uh, shown to me. So the slate theme is showing headers like this. It is showing uh, an ordered list and unordered list in a certain uh, in a certain way. Okay. So we have got the minimum theme uh, theme also. We have got the leap day theme also. So let's 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 choose a theme called as architect here. So I'm just gonna click on select theme. And once you click on select theme, you will be actually presented with an index.md file. Okay. So this index.md file is a file which is actually representing that theme to you. So all the content which you uh, which you were uh, seeing in that page, in that theme page, all that content is present inside this index.md file. So you can edit that content, you can uh, change the style or anything you want to do. Okay. So let's say I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna delete this part and instead of saying welcome to GitHub pages, I'm going to say welcome to super lazy coder and like 
शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड आफ्टर दैट आई एम नॉट गोना चेंज एनी थिंग आई एम जस्ट गोना क्लिक ऑन कॉमेंट ओके सो वंस यू क्लिक ऑन कॉमेंट क्या इज यू कैन गो टू द एक्शन स्टार एंड यू कैन सी द मैजिक हैपनिंग हेयर यू कैन सी इन द एक्शन स्टार देर आर सम वर्क फ्लोज रनिंग एंड वन वर्क फ्लो वॉज ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड वन मिनट अगो एंड अनदर वर्क फ्लो हैज जस्ट स्टार्टेड वन आई क्लिक ऑन कॉमेंट this workflow uh, this workflow has two steps one is the build part and another is the deploy part so build part basically builds your github pages and creates a package and deploy part basically deploys your package into a domain uh, so that we can access that website easily okay so you can see guys that now it is deployed and it uh, it, uh, it also gives us actually the url of our website so i can just go to this url and open it in a new tab and you can see guys that the title which i changed uh, was uh, earlier welcome to github pages and now it is changed to welcome to super lazy coder and uh, as per the theme it says the uh, domain name on on the top and welcome to super lazy coder uh, like share and subscribe and rest of the theme is actually uh, still the same i didn't edit it that much definitely you can edit your theme as much as you want okay so how this magic is actually happening okay how are we able to deploy a whole website using github io so basically guys it is done by the jackal theme chooser okay so using this uh, tool called as jackal theme we can actually uh, put themes uh, put styling into our web pages and we can actually just change the content and this jackal uh, configuration file jackal config dot yml helps us to uh, you know deploy it through the process okay so now that we have created our file and we have seen a workflow let's see how i can edit it so editing it it's pretty straight forward okay all you have to do is go to your repository so now i am again going back to my repository and now you can see here on my repository i am having one branch which is called as gh pages branch okay so what i will do is i can go to this branch and i can just click on index.md file and i can edit this file okay so once if i edit the file for example you can see that there is a spelling mistake here okay i can just uh, remove this whole markdown because i don't need it and then i can commit the changes so this is the index.md file which you can change to change your content and then there is a config uh, dot yml file so what this file actually says is the theme which we have selected so you can see that it is uh, stating the theme that the theme is jekyll theme architect so if you want to change the theme you can actually change the uh, uh, change the name of the theme as well so for example i can change the theme to minimal and it will change the theme to the minimal theme okay so once you do this again you will see in the actions tab that there is some building happening okay another thing guys that if you remember that in my uh, repository initially i didn't add any readme dot file or any uh, any license or github ignore but if you add those readme files then basically you will get two branches you will get a main branch and you will get a gh pages branch so just remember that your uh, website pages your main github pages are present inside the gh pages branch so if you have got multiple branches just go to the gh pages one and there you can edit uh, index md and config.yml to make sure that your website is updated okay so let's go back to the action tab you can see that the deployment is done so what i can do is i can just refresh my page and you can see that now my page is changed has changed the theme also it has changed the content also and it looks a bit different uh, so that's how you can actually edit your page you can edit your content you can edit the theme you can do whatever you want and then you can have the perfect domain to actually showcase uh, uh, your your blogs or your resume or any open source projects to anyone you can use this uh, url as app links in your android phone projects you can use this url any way you want you can embed it any way you want it is available to you it's in public domain now okay 
So that was the video guys. That is how you can create your own website free of cost in github.io. You can host it and you can use it what, wherever you want. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you learned something from it. If you have guys then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends. If you have not yet subscribed then please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Also guys if you want to uh, say anything to me any feedback all uh, things are welcome in the comment section below. Please uh, feel free to give your suggestions to me as well. And uh, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then take care and bye bye.